Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Starting Friday, the state and some city and county governments will begin holding back 3% of their employees' paychecks. A court case challenging the legality of deduction has been scheduled for October. Employees don't have an option. Lawyers representing teachers and police unions were in court Thursday asking a circuit judge to force the state to put the money aside until a final ruling is issued. Absent the intervention of your honor, uh, there will not be a pathway to get the money back. An attorney for the state told the judge holding the money instead of investing it will cost the state retirement fund millions of dollars. Tens of millions of dollars would be lost in terms of investment opportunity. But once both sides finished making their case, the bigger issue still remained. And that issue likely won't be decided until it reaches the Florida Supreme Court. In the meantime, both sides will be debating over the constitutionality of forcing state workers to contribute to their retirement. The unions argue the forced contribution violates Florida statutes because a pension fully funded by the state is part of their contract. Ron Meyer, the attorney representing the Florida Education Association, says both sides are committed to moving the issue through the courts quickly. By the time it gets to the Supreme Court, I would think that uh, we, we might be looking at a year's litigation. But until then, the 655,000 government employees in the Florida retirement system will continue to see smaller paychecks. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.